How's it going, people? Well, I'm up on Mount Hope, wearing my best satanic robes. <laughs> my neighbors think I'm satanic, so I thought I'd dress the part. And, um... Let's read a little DNC, since I've been neglecting my Doctrine and Covenants. Alright. I like my bookmarker. Yeah, I can fuck with every religion. <laughs> All in one video. <laughs> I forgot to bring my boom box. I was gonna have music accompanying this, but I guess we'll just do this a cappella. Section 39 of the DNC. Revelation given through. Joseph Smith the Prophet to James Covell at Fayette, New York, January 5th, 1831. James Covell covenanted that he would obey any command that the Lord would give to him through Joseph Smith the Prophet. Sorry, Muhammad. <laughs> he was dead anyway. Um, See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 143, or not. The Lord Jesus Christ specifies a condition under which men may become his sons. You get to become Jesus' sons. Oh. So does that make... God, your grandpa? <laughs> it's kind of complicated. Um, James Covell promised blessing beyond all he had ever known. Conditioned on his obedience to the Lord's commandments. Probably through Joseph Smith, Jr. <sighs> One, hearken and listen to the voice of him who is from all eternity to all eternity. Because you know you can connect them. I don't know how you connect something without a beginning and end, but you can, I guess. It says so here. Uh, the great I am. Even Jesus Christ. Wow. Name dropper. Two. The light and the life of the world. A light which shineth in darkness. Much repetition here. And the darkness comprehended if it not. <sighs> Three, the same which came in the meridian of time unto mine own, and mine own received me not. Bastards. Four, but to as many as received me gave I power to become my sons. And even so will I give unto as many as will receive me, power to become my sons. Five. And verily, verily, and I drink to those. Whew, old chub. I just had half a bottle of wine with dinner, so that'll be a bad idea. Yeah. And a bullet. But anyway, that's another story. I say unto you, He that receiveth my gospel receiveth me. And he that receiveth not my gospel receiveth not me. Six. And this is my gospel. Repentance and baptism by water. 
A little soap helps also. And then come at the baptism of fire and the Holy Ghost, even the Comforter. Well, don't drain a tub too quick after your first baptism. You might want to jump in that water after you get your fire baptism. And then you could be a Holy Ghost, if such things exist. Even the Comforter, which showeth all things and teacheth the peaceable things of the kingdom. Just those, though, huh? Seven. And now, behold, I say unto you, my servant James, I have looked upon thy works, and I know thee. Eight. And verily, and that's all you get, just one, I say unto thee, thine heart is now right before me at this time. So far, so good. And, behold, I have bestowed great blessings upon thy head. Nine. Nevertheless, there was a nevertheless somewhere, thou hast seen great sorrow, and thou hast rejected me many times because of pride and the cares of the world. 10. But behold, the days of thy deliverance are come. If thou wilt hearken unto my voice, which saith unto thee, Arise and be baptized, and wash away your sins, calling on my name. And you shall receive my spirit. And a blessing so great as you never have known. Eleven. And if thou do this, I have prepared thee for a greater work. More to look forward to. Thou shalt preach the fullness of my gospel, which I have set forth in these last days. Well, how can we preach the fullness of his gospel when he's got sealed up sections that we can't see yet? It's not really the fullness then, is it? I know something that's full of it. All right. Which I have set forth in these last days the covenant which I have sent forth to recover my people, which are the house of Israel. Nice to remember. Twelve. And it shall come to pass in the DNC. That power shall rest upon thee. Thou shalt have great faith, and I will be with thee, and go before thy face. 13. Thou art called to labor in my vineyard. This is all pretty familiar stuff here. And to build up my church. And to bring forth Zion, that it may rejoice upon the hills and flourish. 14. But verily, verily, I drink unto you. I say unto thee, Thou art not called to go into the eastern countries, but thou art called to go to the Ohio. Fifteen. And insomuch as my people shall assemble themselves 
at the Ohio, I have kept in store a blessing such as is not known among the children of men. Wow. And it shall be poured forth upon thy heads. <clears throat> and from thence men shall go forth into all nations. 16. Behold, verily, verily. Uh, can't drink too, too, too much tonight. I got a bunch of wine in me already. And a salmon dinner. I'm really asking for it. I say unto you that the people in Ohio call upon me in much faith, thinking I will stay my hand in judgment upon the upon the nations. I cannot deny my word. So there is something you can't do. Like everything. Seventeen. Wherefore, lay to with your might and call faithful laborers into my vineyard, that it may be pruned <coughs> for the last time. Eighteen. And in so much as they do repent and receive the fullness of my gospel, and become sanctified, I will stay mine hand in judgment. 19. Wherefore, go forth, <clears throat> crying with a loud voice, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand, crying, Hosanna! Blessed be the name of the Most High God. 20. Go forth, baptizing with water, preparing the way before my face. For the time of my coming. 21. For the time is at hand, and uh, at hand the day or the hour no man knoweth. Not even Harold Camping. But it surely shall come. Yeah, the sun's going to go out someday, too. Probably before this guy comes back, since he is not coming back. He's a little thing called dead. <laughs> Sorry. Hate to be a downer. All right. Eighteen, and in so much as they do repent and receive the fullness of my gospel, and become sanctified. Oh wait, twenty-two, and he that receiveth these things receiveth me, and they that shall be gathered unto me in time in time and in eternity never gonna die again just that one time <sighs> 23 and again it shall come to pass and those are their words <laughs> yeah I, I, once again it's coming to pass Ooh. that on as many as ye shall baptize with water, ye shall lay your hands, and they shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 
the uh, uh, Holy Ghost, excuse me. They shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And shall be looking forth for the signs of my coming. And shall know me. 24. Behold, I come quickly. Sorry about that. Even so, amen. And that's it for 39. I'm going to do 40, but in another video. Just to keep this short. It's probably going to be better than this one, but you may not want to watch it because this might have been more than you can handle. You might not have even gotten this far. In that case, who am I talking to? So, if you don't want to stay tuned, I understand. And if that's the case, then peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having, I don't even care what it is. I hope it's something nice, though. Bye. And see me in 40. Unless you've had enough.